Good morning, good morning. Hey, TGIF, y'all. It is Friday. Y'all know I live for my weekend. Pop up coming up in your area. We're going to be at Mission Beach this weekend, Saturday, tomorrow. We're going to do a pop up at Mission Beach. Y'all come on out. Hey, this is an opportunity for you to help promote health and fitness. We're going to actually work out on Mission Beach, y'all. We're going to have our FC4U 5K 2020 shirts out there. We are taking donations. We're still taking donations. And so you guys want to come out, bring the kids, bring the family. We're going to be at Mission Beach. I don't know exactly what spot yet, but we're going to be out there probably around noontime. Kind of hot. But hey, we'll find some shade and we're going to do some workout, okay? But we're going to go ahead and get started. Make sure you all have your water or your beverage of your choice. I'm drinking my little protein drink right here. Uh, my daughter and I went walking this morning. I used my little Fitbit watch so far. Let's see how many steps I have on my Fitbit watch, y'all. Y'all know last week I walked all the way up to Menifee. Yes, 70 miles, y'all. I was like, what? So I am at 7,300 steps right now. So after I finish my workout, we'll find out what the steps are for the workout. But we're going to have fun this morning. Make sure you drink. Make sure you get hydrated because it's kind of hot. It's getting hot. It's getting hot out here on the patio. We don't want y'all passing out. Mm. All right. So let's do this, okay? Let's go ahead and get started because I know how y'all are. If I wait too long, if I wait too long... Y'all gonna be quitting on me. So welcome. Come on in. Come on in on. Come on in on the patio, y'all. Come on in on the patio. All these commercials for props, this and props that. Come on now. Let's get this workout started. Y'all ready? All right. Let's do this. Let's jump for Jesus. Yeah, I think that's all you're still in the world. 
Make sure you get your water. Get some hydration going. Get your water, get your water. Get hydrated, y'all. While we wait for the next song to come on. Whew. My goal is this whole thing right here. Mm. This is good. Ready? Ah. Are we ready to do some jumping jacks? Oh yeah. Nice song. Nice beat.
your sweat on. You guys should be moving your boomsie. Don't be sitting on the couch watching me work out because y'all know I'm going to get mine. I am going to get mine. Uh, we have a pop-up coming up at Mission Beach on Saturday around noonish. We're going to be working out. We're going to be promoting health and fitness. People are going to be walking and running and riding their bicycles. Bring your kids out, man. Get them a pair of skates. Get their skateboards. Get on the bicycle. Come on, be active. You gotta have your body gotta be strong, y'all. As we're approaching this winter season, this is the fourth quarter of 2020. You don't wanna go out like this. Get out, get active, get your body healthy. You know one thing I realized? That once you start working out, you think twice about putting junk into your body. Yeah, that's what I said.
now. We definitely need some water break. This is water break. Whew. Good job, good job. Y'all, thanks for coming in, y'all. I see you, I see you, I see you. Don't sit on your boomsie. Get up and work out. Mm. You get your prayers. Prayer and worship, y'all. Listen to the words. This is Calypso Gospel. Praise and worship. And you're getting your exercise. You're taking care of your spirit man, your physical man, your mental man. Come on. Just be yourself, just like Jesus. We've been struggling with some 
spiritual attacks. But you know what? My pastor prayed for her. My pastor prayed for me. My mama prayed. I got my spiritual mama praying. I got my prayer warriors praying. And you know, I'm praying too. I see a breakthrough just like that. I'm telling you, man, prayers work. She woke up this morning with a great attitude. We took the dogs, we walked. The other day she got $5, y'all, $5 walking. <laughs> she said, look, mom, look what I found. I said, look at that. You got paid to walk? Come on now. But you know, her attitude has changed, y'all, just like that overnight. This girl, know, she knows God. She gave God, she gave her life to God at age 10. The, the spirit man is in her. God's spirit is in her. But the enemy is out to attack our children. They can't, the enemy can't get through to you. Enemy gonna use people that are closest to you to get you to move, to stop where God has for you. What, has, what God has for you, he's trying to stop it. He don't want you to be blessed, to be a blessing. He wants you to stay where you at in that hole, that deep, dark hole. That's where he wants you. But you know what? Some people don't like talking about depression. They don't like seeking advice. They don't like seeking counseling. I'm telling you what, man. Some things we can't process on our own. We have to seek, you know, that counseling. And, and I, I, I ask for spiritual counseling. I don't want no worldly counseling, okay? No. I want that spiritual counseling, that, that breaking of curses type of counseling, you know? That, that, that speaking of the word type counseling. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but sometimes, man, I'm telling you, you can't process it on your own. Don't stay in that hole by yourself down there. You cannot help yourself down there by yourself. Because the enemy, that's what he wants you, and he's going to beat you up. You know when you're in a hole, all this junk... It's going on top of you more and more if you don't make a move to get out of that hole everything that's on the surface is gonna go right into that hole before you know it you're gonna be dead and gone and that's where the enemy wants you I don't know who this is for today but you all need to make a move make a move let this fourth quarter of 2020 be the start okay if you haven't started let this be the start of something great because God has plans. Let me tell you, y'all. He has plans for his children. This is the moment right here. Right here where he wants us to be. So that we know when we get out of this, it's not by our doing. It's by his doing. I'm just saying. I got one more song, and then I got to go. I got to go. I got work to do, y'all. I got certifications to complete. <laughs> mm. We're getting ready for... The Medicare push. Got to help out our seniors. Got to help them out. All the benefits that they have that they don't know about, trust and believe. I'm going to let them know about it. I'm going to let them know about these benefits. Because our, our people, we always end up last. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, wow. And it's too late. There's a small window of time that you can, you know, choose these benefits. It's just a small window of time. And, and I'm telling you, if you don't know about these benefits for 2021, your loved ones, you might say, hey, I'm not 65, but do you have a grandma? Do you have a great granny? Do you have a mama that, that is 65 and over that needs to know their benefits? I'm talking about zero cost. Anything, nothing else adding to their plate, honey. It's benefits that's available to our seniors that y'all need to know about. So I'm going to put it out there. Some people will take advantage of it. Some won't. But you can never say you did not know, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What we are going to, the last song that we are going to do today. Okay.
speak life into existence, man. Woo. Love that song. Wonderful song to end our workout with this morning. I do have um, 11 o'clock appointment I need to go to. No, no, no. No more. No mas. Just want to thank you guys for coming in. I know it's Friday. A lot of people starting their weekend already. Let's see who checked in. Hey, Pastor Nate. You're working out this morning. Bless you. Bless you, man of God. Bless you. I know you're on the East Coast right now. One of our dear brothers in Christ was laid to rest. My heart goes out to the Cotton family. Nobody can, nobody prepares for death, you know? I mean, it just happened all of a sudden. That's, that's the kind of death that is really the hardest is when you get that all of a sudden type of death. We, are, we have to be ready at all, at all times. Because the next breath that we take is not promised. So I don't have time to waste on, on, on being mad at people, on being hurtful to people. I just want to, I just want to be, you know, do what my father sent me to do. I just want to do what God wants me to do, Lord. If there's something that I have done, I pray that the Holy Spirit convicts my heart. <laughs> So I can get on the right track. Amen? You know, a lot of times we want to pray. But like um, Bishop T.D. Jakes mentioned this morning, because I listen to, to uh, I, when, I pray, when I walk, I'm listening to, to prayer. I'm listening to, to preaching. I'm listening to teaching. This is the time where I get my spirit man filled. And he was talking today about prayer and how sometimes our prayer is just like, it's just bubbling, just a bubble of words. Just words, blah, 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 blah. And it's not real, real prayer, you know? And he was saying that he, he visualized, and, and I like I like how he lay out things, because he's a visual person, just like my pastor. He'll break it down, and he'll give you visuals to look at, to think about. And he said, if you think about prayer, like incense. And incense by itself, if you take in, let's say you take mercury, you know, myrrh, myrrh, let's do myrrh. It's a rock. If you just put myrrh in that little vessel that, you know, that you, you know, you see them having all the smoke and stuff going on. If you put myrrh in that vessel by itself, imagine that's prayer. Prayer by itself just going into that vessel, which is you, right? <laughs> to ignite that myrrh, to ignite your prayer, you need fire. That fire comes from the Holy Spirit. Prayer plus the Holy Spirit is going to produce fragrance. It's going to produce smoke. And you cannot smother smoke, y'all. Smoke always rises. And where is your prayer? Where are your prayer supposed to go? It's supposed to rise to heaven as a sweet fragrance. So a lot of times you just see people just bobble, bobble, bobble. They're just in that vessel but they're not activated by the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, man, I was like, another nail on the head analogy. You, you just babble, pray. God wants our, our deepest prayer. He wants our praise and worship to be pure. Not just a bunch of words, you know? Not just a bunch of words. You can't, like some people get the gifts of speaking in, town, in tongues. And before I understood that, I was kind of confused. I'm like, why is it they got that and I don't have it? And then I go to a church and they say, we're going to show you how to do it. I'm like, how are you going to teach me how to talk in speaking tongues here? Is there like a class one-on-one, speaking in tongues one-on-one? Some, of, uh, some people have that gift. And that's their prayer language to God. And I was like, why didn't I get that prayer language, Lord? You know? But, but God give each one of us our own gifts and talents if you don't know what your gift and talents is pray to God that he reveals it before you leave this earth because every time you drive by a, a, a cemetery you see a whole bunch of people that's laid six feet under still have that still didn't know what their gifts and their talents were or they have it inside of them and they never met it never manifest so I want to be able to go to my grave empty Meaning that I've used everything that God has put inside of me for the better of mankind. 
Amen? Amen. I got to go, y'all. But thanks for checking in, Pastor Nate. I see uh, another... I forgot. I can't see my glasses. Glenda. Today is Friday, Glenda. Are you going to call me, girl? Call me. I got room on the patio for you. Hint, hint. <laughs> Adele. Adele. Thank you so much. You guys watching this video later, please share it with your loved ones. Share it with your friends. And uh, we are promoting health and fitness. We have a pop-up scheduled for Mission Mission Beach. Mission Beach uh, tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to go live. We're going to work out out there. We're going to bring the Calypso Gospel workout on the beach. Y'all know y'all know I'm cray-cray like that. That's right. I'm crazy for Jesus. Crazy, crazy. All right. Peace, y'all. Be blessed. I'm going to sign off on YouTube.